And today we're gonna to be covering the object editor. An object is kind of the lifeblood of every game, the object editor. So inside here, we can rename it, we can assign or edit the sprite, drag a sprite from the assets and put it onto the object editor. And then we have uses physics. If we open up our physics tab, a lot of different options inside of here. If you need a physics system, consider using the one that GameMaker has built in. You can control things like the density, the friction, you can change the collision shape. Events are how things happen in GameMaker. This green code over here is comments, but all of this code is actually doing stuff. Events in GameMaker are when your code get triggered. This code for the ghost just got run on every single ghost inside of here. If we click on add event, destroy, clean up, alarm, mouse, key down, we have a lot of ghosts inside of here. These are not objects. These are what we call instances. Unique code to this instance, and I'm making it semi-blue. This specific instance is going to be blue. Parents and inheritance. This ghost has no parents, it has no children. It's very sad, it's all alone. O pick up parent and object oriented programming link. Inheritance allows one object to share code with another. We've got hearts, we've got stars. Each one of these is animating, it's doing something and we can collect it and all of that you can do with parents. They're flexible, they're powerful and essential for making great games. And that is a quick overview of the object editor in GameMaker Studio.